It's time for Friday Fabulous Florida. There is a gigantic alligator in my kitchen. A look at the weirdest stories from our weirdest state. This Florida guy arrested. He exposed himself to multiple shoppers while at Target, Walmart, and Burlington stores. What? Yeah. No. He really got around. Xavier Pee Wee Hearns. He what? is called <laughs> her Pee Wee. That is the way he likes to be referred to. No, that's not really the name you want when you're a flasher, is it? Xavier Pee Wee <laughs> Hearns exposing himself at least two times in the last week. And there he is. Yeah, I might say on the Mark Thompson Show booking photo meter. I'm going to give him a seven. I, no. I think that's a strong booking photo. I give it a two. Mm-mm. A two. Well, yeah. Kim is, as you know, much tougher. Doesn't um, Pee Wee mean it's little? Do you really want someone calling you little when you're trying to flash everybody? Well, you know what, Kim? It may not be related, his nickname, to that oh. thing that you... But, of course, you go right to that it also, place, it Kim. It could be ironic, Kim. That, there's something funny oh, about that. Oh, yes. Yeah. Irony can be yeah. pretty ironic sometimes. Very <laughs> Albert, good. thank you. Yes, Albert. Excellent. Um, anyway, Pee Wee is now uh, in custody. Uh, <laughs> Sayonara, Pee Wee. Yes, Keep it um, to yourself, pal. There, <laughs> there's the Florida man who chucks pasta at a driver during a road rage incident over glaring headlights. What? If only I had some pasta handy. <laughs> He's 46 years old. Sometimes you're just looking for something to throw. Am I right, everybody? Mm-hmm. That is mm-hmm. what happened there. He's 46 years old. I'm always surprised when, or maybe less and less surprised, when people in their 40s do this stuff, it's like, you think you'd get over this stuff. But there he is, Nolan Goins, arrested and charged with battery in mm. connection with this incident, throwing pasta. No, Nolan looks tightly wrapped, I have He to looks say. like a bit of a gym rat, maybe some mm. steroids in the game. Don't know why he kind of lost it. But yeah. again, on the Mark Thompson Show booking photo meter i'm gonna give him a seven i i i i think You're very he's generous today I yeah. well, well, where do you put him where do you get a four i give him a four all right and then you think case, there's a the... more throwable type of like pasta noodle it would be hard to throw some of the pastas i'd like a penny maybe or something oh, yeah, like you're that. right you want to yeah. he's lucky that he had the right pasta to yeah. what's toss? the one that's like a tw- like a corkscrew mm. The, that's a good one uh, That's a Fusili, maybe, I think. Oh, yeah. Thing? Yeah. Fusili, that's a uh, great throw. Oh, thank pasta. you very much. Uh, you throw the spaghetti against the wall to see if it's done, right? If it sticks, then it's done. Maybe that's <laughs> what he was doing. That. Maybe he was just trying to make sure his pasta no, was no, al dente. No, no, I don't think you throw the no. spaghetti against the wall, uh, boys and girls, to sure see you if do. it's done. Yeah. Where have you been um, living? The road rage incident unfolded when Goins became enraged because of glaring headlights. He threw pasta with sauce oh. <laughs> through his passenger window yeah. and it hit someone who was driving in another vehicle. The victim was not injured in this pasta attack, although he was with- covered in sauce on his arm, leg, and torso. Again, we make fun. When you start throwing pasta and sauce, though, Kim, you can cause accidents there in Florida. Did and it that make ain't the guy- cool. Did it make the guy with the bright lights turn the lights down? Because I might be all for this. I don't know. Oh, well, yeah. so Kim will take a meeting about yeah. throwing the pasta and sauce. Sure, absolutely. Good luck. We will keep you posted. This could be the solution I've been looking for. It was one of those weeks where people were hurling food. The Florida <laughs> man is arrested for hurling fried chicken at his sister during an argument. Now you're cooking with fire. The decision to throw two pieces of chicken at his sister has landed him in jail. They've charged him with domestic battery. Mm. He's 20 years old. Kanye Medley taken into custody. He launched a piece of chicken at his sister's back. There he is on the Mark Thompson Show booking photo meter. He is coming in. I like the hair. Yep. Uh, 
Um, his, I might give him a 6.5. I was going to go seven. I mean, with the hair and the, you know, yeah. he, lo- he still looks angry. All so right, I'm, I'll give him a seven. Good, yeah. good, good, good. Uh-huh. Um, the two siblings were exchanging words, and Mr. Medley grabbed a bag of chicken, grabbed it from his sister, and then he began hurling that chicken at her. The chicken was at a from a place called Church's Chicken. Yeah. Uh, Church's Texas Chicken has a location down the road from their residence, Kim. So, you know, if you're worried about them replacing the chicken that has now been ruined because it was being you know, tossed around, there is more chicken where that came from. But one piece of the fried chicken struck the victim in the back and left debris of food on her shoulders. Huh. What? Yes. Asked about what motivated him to start throwing the chicken. He said he did it because he had not eaten and did not want that chicken that the victim offered him. Uh, So he he became upset. He was hangry. He was. Yeah. He was released, the 20-year-old was, from Pinellas County Jail the following day on his own recognizance. (laughs) A Florida man fined for $30,000, this fine handed down, for a tall grass. We'll show you a picture of it. This is in Dunedin. This is a years-long battle he had that finally ended with this lawsuit that for $30,000, they wanted this guy to trim his grass. He went to trial because of what he considered excessive finding of him it doesn't look that tall i mean it's sure it's not you know kept well kept but it, it's not like you know out in the f- field right it started five years ago you're right it doesn't look like it's not the kind of place where you drive by and go oh my god that guy he hasn't you know but it's not like waist high the grass was too tall it grew into a thirty thousand dollar fine and that was ridiculous. So this gentleman in Dunedin, uh, he got the Institute for Justice, a nonprofit public interest law firm involved. And he said, before that, I was just a little guy being bullied. Then he got TV news involved, the I team. And the I team started putting heat on this, and they got into a fine reduction system, and he ultimately paid nearly $8,000 after fighting off this uh, extra $10,000 in administration fees, and the city of Dunedin kind of went away at the end of all of that. Why don't you just mow the lawn? It would have been a lot cheaper just to hire a gardener. Mm, Again... Not a bad idea, (laughs) and you're probably right. A Florida woman stabs a man in a wild rampage, also threatening employees and smashing computers. Christina Maria Crane, she's 37. She was at a Wawa, and she put the WA and the other WA (laughs) in Wawa. Both WAs really can be traced back to Christine. Albert will show you her booking photo, and you can decide. In the world of the Mark Thompson Show booking photo meter, looks like she's been up for a few days. (laughs) Still kind of cute, though. Still kind of cute. I'm going to give her a six. What do you think? I'll throw down seven. She's got some big eyes. It's almost like, you know, when the photographer photographer says look down and look up for the sexy Mm. look. Oh, That's yeah. what she's got going on there. Yeah. Now, I wonder if this was a first take or if this was a multiple takes involved. Anyway, all right, seven then. There you go. Um, the uh, police department said that the whole thing took place at the Wawa on Gandhi Boulevard at 10 o'clock at night. It wasn't even that night, uh, late. They said the suspect under the influence at the time and in a state of excited delirium is what they call it. God, I've been oh. looking for that state of excited delirium all my life. <laughs> Keep working on it. You have to go to a Wawa to get it. Uh, she took a fixed blade knife from the deli, stabbed a man with it, causing him to bleed. He suffered a minor abrasion in his left hand. She left the Wawa. Then she went inside an office, raised the knife over a, an employee there, a woman. She 
supposedly said to the office worker, I will kill you. That's never oh. a, yeah, you'd want to try to avoid that if you can. Uh, she's also accused of swinging the knife that nearly struck another a female office worker. She was really quite busy until I'd be she, willing to bet my lunch that mm, there's alcohol uh, involved. Something was involved. So Ren uh, says, I'll bet there's more than alcohol going on there. I think uh, mm -hmm. it was definitely not a good scene for uh, her. So uh, anyway, that's the what can you tell us about the scene? Not a good scene for her, Larry. Not a good scene. What can you tell us about uh, the scene? Albert, uh, tell me uh, where to go and how to go there. I, I, is Michael uh, Shore here He's yet? ready. He's, oh, he's, okay. I, yeah. I think I've got a couple, two he's minutes. He's participating so just... in Florida, I think, uh, is what he's well, doing. I, would, I, I don't want to sully yeah. his his reputation by no, folding him into it's Florida. it's really beneath him, I think. Yet I'm, yeah, I'm, yet I'm tempted because he's so, <laughs> you know, he's got the... Oh, he says bring him in. So, yeah, right. yeah. Michael right, Shore, who's our political yeah. analyst, is uh, he gets before he gets... In. Before he gets into politics, you can sit in for these last few, Michael. This is a story out of Florida that involves a guy who, in an unprovoked attack, uh, has a gun fired at him. Get back inside your house or you're dead, yelled his neighbor. Oh. <laughs> this is in Orange County, Florida. I think I'm going back inside. I don't know. And this is no um, uh, mm. small matter meaning he is being charged this guy that you're seeing there with attempted murder that's a he disappointing mugshot i think shot at his neighbor early this morning uh, wednesday morning this week inside their <laughs> rv park oh yeah and if you look at yes bravo i thought the <laughs> rv park is kind of the idyllic environment everybody's kicking back they're retired they don't care they're you know they they live in these that's the old people rv park this is the rough one I see. Yeah. <laughs> you don't I want see. to go to this one. Wow. This is no picnic, no summer camp. <laughs> All right, so this is <laughs> this is the gentleman who was uh, picked up uh, in for the ungentlemanly uh, act of uh, firing a gun. He's a 32-year-old. Um, oh, I'm sorry. He shot at a 32-year-old guy. Um, the 42-year-old guy you're looking at is a guy named John David Wilson. By the way, the shot that he fired um, did hit the guy who's his neighbor, the 32-year-old, in the oh, shoulder. No. Anyway, this guy you're seeing, John David Wilson, they n located him inside his camper, and he was taken into custody. Now, on the Mark Thompson Show no. booking photo meter, I'll let Michael Shore take the bite of the mm -hmm. apple first. Uh, we have to... It's a numerical rating, one to ten. Uh, where do you put him, Michael? I put this at a four. It's not much of a. It's, no. it's, a, it's a Michael's predictable. I mean, I could have probably sketched this yeah. <laughs> before you threw it on the screen. Wow, I didn't. Uh, uh, what uh, What do you put it at, Kim? I'm going to. It's a little blurry, and I, I don't. I, I'm just not really excited about the quality. So yeah. I'm going to, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll give it. Uh, I'll give it a five. So uh, all right. Oh, um, God, you're very generous. Anyway, he is. Um, the witness said that uh, he yelled, "Get back inside your house, or you're dead!" Minutes before he fired the gunshots, uh, the victim was on his way to the gym, and told officers that when uh, he was confronted by his neighbor, uh, he asked, "Are you talking to me?" And Wilson responded that he was going to count down from three, and if the victim didn't go back inside his camper, he would shoot him. The victim said Wilson quickly counted down from three and fired. That always sucks when somebody says, I'm counting from three, and then they go, three, two, one. Like, you know, you're not <laughs> expecting, dude, 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 that's not, that's not the way you count down from three. No. So anyway, it's he did a real Mississippi, quick count. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Sure. Right? That's like, goes, yeah, when you're playing touch football, it's one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and then you can break the... Uh, <laughs> right. The, the whole yeah. thing is just... Um, and a Mountain Dew story, a uh, Florida guy nabbed for stealing Mountain Dew, and also two cases of beer. He did it at a Walmart, and <laughs> he was arrested. I mean, the long arm can of the I, law... Can I vote they, yet? Is this like America's Got Talent, where you have a gold button? Yeah. Where you can, yeah. Okay. Uh, this, uh, I don't know enough about this story, but this is my winner. Thomas <laughs> Watts is 50 years old. Wow. I'm sure he didn't look ahead in the hymnal to think that he'd be uh, stealing Mountain Dew at age 50. Arrested and charged with larceny and petty theft, 
He grabbed the stuff at the Walmart on Saturday evening of last week, and uh, he was caught by a store detective. He had a case of Heineken, a case of Corona, and a 20-ounce bottle of Mountain Dew. I think that's being a little generous with the word detective. (laughs) (laughs) I think everybody who watched that was a detective. Yeah, it was. I I, it is true. I used uh, uh, perhaps the uh, the word uh, detective a little too uh, generously. Uh, Anyway, he has been um, uh, arrested. He was walking out and uh, loaded the stolen drinks into a white truck and actually left the area. And it wasn't until later that the store uh, detective uh, informed officers and he was um, arrested. By the way, this may not come as a surprise to you, but he did have a prior arrest record. So Mm -hmm. uh, there is is that. Um, It brings us to the end. Uh, I did want this one thing. Albert, can I? I feel like I'm running behind, but here you go. Um, This one thing not related to any kind of human activity that involves uh, stealing or fights or out of Florida, a warning about fecal water pollution at two more popular beaches in Florida. They're urging people not to enter the waters around two beaches, high levels of fecal pollution at Midtown Beach and Dubois Park. In what town would that be? That is in Palm Beach County. The northernmost town in Palm Beach County is uh, in Jupiter, Florida, Dubois Park, that's uh, in Midtown Beach. That's where they are. They contain okay. high levels of um, bacteria, which cause urinary tract infections, and people yeah. who go swimming during these kinds of advisories also can lead to meningitis and viral infection and organ failure and death. So What, what yeah, the hell is going on in the United States of America? Just saying. It's a rough ride in Florida at the no. beach. Uh, do check uh, twice. And it now... You your neighbor. Albert, <laughs> do I... Uh, now I go back and review, or do, have I left something out, or... I leave uh, yeah, we should review. We're already okay. late. Uh, everyone, thank you for your patience. We've had a lot of misdeeds and craziness to get to. Here's a review, and then... You can pick a favorite. Uh, The Florida man who goes by the nickname Pee Wee, accused of exposing himself to shoppers at Target, Walmart, and the Burlington stores. He did, to be fair to him, get around to all the different stores. Um, The Florida man chucking pasta at another driver. It did have sauce with it, and uh, he was uh, charged with this road rage incident, and the whole thing uh, came to pass because of glaring headlights. Um... The Florida man arrested for hurling fried chicken at his sister during an argument. The Florida man fined for $30,000 for tall grass, settling with the Dunedin people after years of fighting it legally. The Florida woman stabbing a guy in the Wawa. Then she went on to try to stab other employees and threaten them. The Florida man who says that the neighbor shot at him in an unprovoked attack, counting backwards from three to one quickly and then discharging his firearm. The Florida man stealing the Mountain Dew, also two cases of beer, who made it out of the parking lot, but the long arm of the law (laughs) reached out and grabbed him. And finally, the Florida beaches that are being closed because of fecal pollution, Hard to pick a favorite. What are the choices in the uh, chat, please, Albert? Yeah, I have Pee Wee shows, Pee Wee, Food Throwers, Wawa, Wham Page, and he wanted to do the do. So the food throwers are in the lead. So I I think a lot of people like the pasta thrower. Very nice. Very nice. Albert with the clever uh, titles as well, I think. Albert, thank you. Very, very impressive. Uh, We don't like to pick a favorite, but we must. The bylaws of the show require it. I'll start with you, guest Michael Shore. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I, I admire a guy named Pee Wee exposing himself. I mean, uh, that takes some chutzpah. Uh, but <laughs> I, I, just, uh, I just like the I, I like the fact, and I don't do this a lot, so, I mean, if you close your eyes and imagine a, a Florida theft, you would say, 
some guy walking in and stealing Mountain Dew. Uh, <laughs> yeah. and, so, and I like that he had three cases of stuff. Like, it's not like he stole, yeah. you know, something little you put in your pocket. Three cases. So he's he's my winner and uh, yeah. possibly be my He runner. was planning for the weekend. Okay. He goes for the Mountain Dew. What about you, Kim? I'm going for the visual of seeing pasta fly through the air and smack into another vehicle. Pasta thrower. Mm -hmm. Pasta thrower goes uh, Kim. Yeah. Albert, what was your fave? I, I do like Pee Wee showing his Pee Wee. It's it's just a it's <laughs> it's funny. It's on the nose. Mm. It's classic Florida. And he hit up multiple locations. He wasn't just like just uh, the Walmart. He he hit up the Burlington. Uh, yeah, the Burlington Coat too. Factory, where you yeah, could have yeah. usually thrown a coat over it's him. It's an so, odd yeah. place to do it, but he, he could be trying out new jackets and exposing himself. Well, I mean, oh, that's what point. they do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good point. That's right. That is he the was, He was playtesting all the jackets. The reveal right. is typically that jacket opening. Exactly right. Good point. Didn't even think of that. Um, of course he did there, the Burlington Coat Factory. <laughs> there is no uh, right answer, of course. Um but the right answer is Mountain Dew. Exactly. That's it. Um, and that is Friday Fabulous Florida for today. This has been Friday Fabulous Florida. There is a gigantic alligator in my kitchen. Y'all come back now, here. Yeah? Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell. You'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped, and please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.